Hi, Assalamualaikum Medium. My name is Puti Shaira. This is our group members. First is Nancini. Uh, the second one is Ahmi, Putri Shaira. The third is Shahida Akila, and the last one is Syam Afifa Amira. Here in this video, we will explain about two types of sequence, which is aromatic sequence and geometric sequence. It include all the theory and formula for both sequence, and we will also explain about two problems of aromatic and geometric progression. Before I explain about aromatic sequence. Let me explain about the meaning of sequence. Sequence is a set of number in particular order with uh, each number in the sequence being derived from the particular rule. Now let's proceed with the arithmetic sequence. An arithmetic sequence is a list of number with a definite pattern. If you take any number in the sequence, uh, they subtract it by the previous one and the result is always the same or constant that it is an arithmetic sequence. As you can we see in the picture, common difference can be positive and also negative. As you can see in the positive, uh, A is 5 and the common difference is 4. And in the negative, uh, A is 20 and the common difference is negative D. We can see that the first term is A and the second term is A plus D when D is a common difference for the sequence which can be obtained by subtracting any term from the term which immediately follow it. 4, 4, 4, negative 3, negative 3, negative 3. That means it's a follow it. Uh, we can conclude that it means the sequence can be positive or negative or even zero. Uh, last but not least, I will explain about the formula of arithmetic sequence. The first formula is to find n sum, uh, which is uh, in this picture. You can see that uh, a n or we can call t n is equal to a plus n minus one multiplied by d. Uh, which is Tn is the NTH term, A is the first term, uh, D is the common difference which can be determined by Tn minus Tn minus 1, and N is the number of term. Uh, we can see in the example, uh, example in this picture, uh, find the 46th term of the arithmetic sequence. Uh, A is 3 The common difference D is 5 To find the 46th term uh, We can use the formula that I said previously Tn minus uh, T46 min uh, Equal 3 plus 46 minus 1 And the common difference is 5 And the next step is 3 plus 45 Which is 46 minus 1 So it's 45 and multiply 5 and the answer is 228 the second formula of arithmetic sequence is uh, to find sum of first and term we can see uh, uh, which uh, in this picture which is sn equal n over 2 multiplied by 2a plus with, uh, uh, with n minus 1 multiplied by d or we can also use uh, as n equal to n over 2 and multiply a plus l. As n is the sum of first term, n is number of term, a is the first term while l is the last term. We can see uh, the example in this picture. We use the uh, sum formula. Which for example 5 over 2 multiply 2 a uh, a is 1 plus uh, n minus 1 5, 5 minus 1 and multiply d d is 1 which you can get 5 over 2 multiply 2 plus 4 and the answer is 5 multiply 3 which is 15 the, answer, uh, the last answer is 15. So that's all for me. 
So next, nanti ni we explain two problems of arithmetic sequence. Thank you, Mila. Thank you so much, Shaira. So now I'm going to explain how to solve two problems in arithmetic sequences. Two problem of arithmetic. So the first question is calculate the sum of all the even numbers from 2 to 100 inclusive. As we can see here, this is the uh, arithmetic uh, series. So, the first thing that we have to do is identify n term. How to identify n term? By using this formula. So, what we have to do is, yes, okay. I just using this formula, uh, I put 100 first because they said uh, n term. So our n term, the, which is the last term, uh, 100. And then the, uh, they say that first term, our first term for this number is 2. That's the reason why I put 2. And then in bracket, uh, one neg uh, n negative 1. And times with 2. This 2 is actually the common difference. How am I get the common difference? It's actually simple for negative 2. 4, negative 2 means we will get 2. That's the common difference. So after we finish that, uh, we can multiply this. Uh, we can times with this. So after we times, we will get this. Uh, and then the last answer will be uh, 50. How am I get 50? Because 2, negative 2 means 0. So 100 divided by 2 means 50. So we already get uh, n term. After we get n term, it's actually easy to get, easy to do the sum question. So, as you can see here, this is the uh, formula that I'm using to do this, uh, question, uh, di this question. So, the first is Sn. So, we already, uh, as, we can, as Madam can see here, uh, I already stated that uh, n equals to uh, 50. So, S50, so and here we can see that n equals to 2. So, we already know that our n is 50. So, just put that. 50 uh, divided by 2 in bracket a1 plus a n. So our a1, which is the first term, uh, our first term is 2, and then our last term is 100. I just put here, and then uh, we have what we have to do is uh, this equation we have to settle first, then only we can divide. So if we settle this, we will get uh, 102. So 50 divided by 2 times with 102. So we will get. 2550. This is the answer for, for the first question. Let me move on to the second question. This question is in the arithmetic series, which is this k is a positive integer and k is a factor of 100. Find in term of k an expression for the number of term in this series. So now I'm going to use this formula to. Uh, Calculate the answer for the question. All right. It's actually quite easy because I already mentioned previously how to do the question. So we just uh, need to transfer only. As you can see here, uh, n term, as I said before this, the last term we have to put uh, in front. So our last term is uh, 100. So I put 100 in front. And then k, the first term, our, our first term is k plus n negative 1 times with k. Uh, our common difference is k, so we just put k at there. And then uh, uh, if we multiply this uh, n k, we will get n k. If we uh, negative 1 times with k means we will get negative k. So if we do that, we will get, uh, clearly we can see here what we can cut from here means k negative k means um, it will be zero, so we can cut this. So definitely we will can uh, we will get that uh, hundred divided by k because we move this n in front because that's the n term. This is the uh, answer for the n term. So we already get the answer for the k. It's quite easy. That's the reason we have to follow the equation, uh, the formula. So let's move on the next questions too. Find in term of k the fifth uh, term of an arithmetic sequences. As you can see here, this is the first, uh, first uh, term, second term, and third term. So what we have to do is 
we have to follow the um, follow the formula. So the first thing that we have to do is I just all right. We have to identify the common difference between this uh, between these numbers. So if we get the common difference, then only we can uh, we can identify the fifth one. All right. The first thing that we have to do is they are already uh, already given the three numbers. So I just choose four k plus four here, and then I just minus with two k plus one. Either uh, I choose actually a uh, two k plus one. If uh, can also uh, another way also I have which is four uh, k plus four minus with 6k plus 7 because we are um, identify the common difference um, if we using the both number numbers also we will get the same answer which is 2k plus 3 all right after we finished uh, after we identify the uh, common difference which is 2k plus 3 it's very easy to identify the uh, fifth term so in this fifth term they already mentioned the fifth term so we put in front the fifth term and then we just uh, follow the uh, formula which is 2k I put uh, 2k plus 1 because that's the first term and then plus with 49 why why am I put 49 because n negative 1 our n is 50 50 negative 1 49 so and then the, the last is the common difference our common difference is 2k plus 3 so if we uh, calculate this we will get uh, like this and then the last answer we will get 100k plus 148. Uh, why am I get this? Because 2k plus with uh, 98k means 100k uh, plus with 1 plus uh, 147 means 148. So this is the last answer for this question. Let's we move on to the second question. So this question is asked, the first term of arithmetic sequences is 30 and the common difference is negative 1.5. The value of the 25th term, find, they asked to uh, find us uh, the value of the 25th term. So how to do this? Actually, it's quite easy to, because uh, we're just following the question, uh, the uh, formula. So I just put 25th term in front and then uh, 30 because they already mentioned that 30 is the first term plus with 25th, 25th over the n negative 1 and then the last term is negative 1.5 so if we uh, calculate this we will get 30 negative uh, 36 so the real answer is negative 6 it's actually quite simple questions and the last is all right we can see here the r term is the sequences of 0 find the value of r how to find the value of r okay to find the value of r they are already actually given uh, a uh, the first term is 30 the common difference is negative 1.5 so we just using the formula the first term which is 30 plus r negative 1 and then the last term is negative 1.5 so we just um, we just multiply this and r r negative 1 times with negative 1.5 so we will get this uh, equation at uh, this number and then if we multiply this we will get 31.5 equals to 1.5 r because uh, we we just move this negative 1.5 r in front so it uh, the negative will be gone so it will be like uh, positive so if we multiply this which is uh, 31 uh, 31.5 divide by 1.5 though so the answer will be 21 so i hope that uh, this is the easy equations and uh, to um do easy equation to understand about the arithmetic sequences so thank you hi my name is shama Vipa amira and i'm going to explain about the geometric sequence a geometric progression, or also known as geometric sequence, is an order list number in which each term after the first found by multiplying the previous one by fixed non-zero number called the common ratio R. 
The common ratio R can be obtained by dividing any term from the term which immediately follow it. It can be positive, negative or zero. To find the common ratio R, R equal to second term divided by first term or third term divided by second term. For example, given the following geometric sequence 2, 4 and 8, find the first term and the common ratio. First term equal to A equal to 2 and common ratio R equal to 4 divided by 2 equal to 2 or R equal to 8 divided by 4 equal to 2. The formula for the general terms of a geometric sequence is T equal to A multiplied by R to the power of N minus 1. This sequence has a factor of 2 between each number. A is the first term, R is the common ratio, N is the number of terms. For example, find the fourth term. Fourth term is equal to 2 multiplied by 2 to the power of 4 minus 1 equal to 2 multiplied by 8 and equal to 16. Finally, summing a geometric series. A series is a sum of a sequence we want to find the nth partial sum or the sums of the first n terms of the sequence. We will denote the nth partial sum as a Sn. The formula to find the sum of the first n terms is referring to our R value. If R value is greater than 1, Sn equal to A multiplied by R to the power of N minus 1, divided by R minus 1. If the R value is lower than 1, that means Sn equal to A multiplied by 1 minus R to the power of N divided by 1 minus R. For example, find the sums of the first 8 terms. To find the sums of the first 8 terms, S8 equal to 2 multiplied by 2 to the power of 8 minus 1 divided 2 minus 1 and equal to 5, 1, 0. Next, I will pass to Shahida Akila to talk about the two problems of geometric sequence. Assalamualaikum, my name is Shahida Kilasabri and I will begin with geometric sequence problems. So here we go. Okay, done. So the thing that I wrote here is actually problem one. <laughs> Sorry to be sent that okay. uh, Find the 8th term in a geometric sequence if the first term is 7 and the common ratio is 3. So for this question, dia dah siap bagi first term dia apa? First term dia is 7 and the common ratio is 3. This is very 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 straightforward sebab dia dah siapkan, dia dah sediakan semua. Hmm, might be easy. So let's tengok jalan kerja pula. Jom. Okay, so I akan tulis dulu jawapan and I'll explain in details next video. Let's go. Time lapse. Beast 
only answer that I got is actually this one. Yay! I managed to get the answer for this one by myself. This is quite uh, simple, I can say. So the first thing I did is 8 minus 1. Obviously, it's equals to 7. And I solved this one first, which is 3 power of 7. And I got 2, 1, 8, 7. And the last part I did was just this times this two number and I got one five three oh nine. The next one. Time left. Okay, so for the second problem, as you can see, I will here find the seventh term in a geometric sequence if a sub two is equal to fifteen and a sub five, which is five actually. Uh, equals to 405 okay, so in this question uh, the common ratio is not given so we gotta find one okay so we can see the sub here is 2 Alamak, habis ingat. and the sub here is 5 yeah so we'll try to do it here okay so what I did is um, I put the formula first which is a sub 1 and then I put the r we apply the 5 and 2 so 5 minus 1 and 2 minus 1 so it will be equal to uh, we just write them back on 4 or 5 equals to a sub 1 r 4 15 a sub 1 r 1 and then just subtract um, subtract 4 from 1 it's r 3 and 4, 0, 5, 15. How do I get 2, 5, 7? It's actually the quotient. 4, 5 out of the quotient of 15 is we got this 2, 5, 7. Now, um, to consider the 3R is actually we have to um, square root both sides. And the answer we will get um, 3 equals to R. So, obviously we have done for the first phase here. Now I bring down the second term which is 15 a sub 1, 3, 2 minus 1. So after we evaluate that, we will get 15 a sub 1 times 3. So now we isolate the a sub 1, we will have to divide 3 in both sides. And the answer that I got down here is 5 a sub 1. So this is like the last part of everything. So now we already got the a sub 1 is equals to 5 and the common ratio r equals to 3. So now, all we got to do is just to apply the formula as usual, which is a sub equals to a sub 1, r and minus 1. This is the formula. And now we just apply a sub 7. Why a sub 7 is because it is the 7 term. Okay, so a sub 7, 5, 3, 7 minus 1. This is uh, the common ratio. Okay, so let's just proceed. So 5, uh, 7 minus 1 is equals to 6, obviously. And 5, um, 3, 6, uh, 3 power of 6 will get 7 to 9. And we will get the final answer, which is A sub 7 is equals to 3, 6, 4, 5. Okay, so there it is. Uh, two problems uh, for the geometric sequence. I hope you guys do enjoy the video and I'm sorry if there's any um, lacking in any parts of the video. I'm really sorry. I'm trying so hard to, you know, actually venture this by myself and I, I'm i glad I did this. So, massive thank you to everyone and um, hope you enjoy and till we meet again. See ya. Assalamu alaikum. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs>